Hello and welcome back to the county of New Bobden. My name is Badger the British and on this episode we are going to be talking about Cities Skylines 2 which is coming out on the 24th of October later this year which you can go and pre-order the game now if you wish. Now full disclosure before we get into the rest of this video this is not any paid promotion by Paradox and I have no affiliation with them it's probably unwanted but also, just to be fully transparent, and just to let you know and give you a heads up, that I have actually bought not only the base game in pre-order, but I've also bought the Ultra Edition, which comes with all the additional expansion packs and everything like that, all those extra goodies. Just So it just makes myself very transparent, very clear from the get-go. What we're going to be going over in today's video is basically talking about how I feel about this new expansion pack, what I've seen online, and you know, also creating a big announcement for New Bobden here. We could sit here all day and you could just listen to my voice talk about this subject where you basically just watch the city go by, or we can go make a park and everything like that, which has all the new assets which has come with the new update. Now I feel because I've seen the assets, that they are more, you know, technologically advanced, I feel that that would be a great place to be placed over here, near our technology university. Because it just makes a little bit of sense. Now let's bring this road in. I just want to say, just before we start construction, I just want to say a big sorry for not being able to post too frequently. It is rather hot in the UK quite now, like strangely it is rather, we are rather going through a bit of a heat wave and I've had a little bit of a reprieve today with the weather because the thunderstorms are just about to start rolling in and it is a generally cooler day so obviously it gets really hot and sweaty in a small box up here but it is time to now talk about City Skylines 2 coming out which is rather amazing and we get these like new little assets i think this is probably the big asset and this is going to be the big that's a really nice view so they have added this new asset and it's a countdown timer and that i'm going to bet my bottom dollar is counting down to the 24th of october when this game comes out and you know that's basically the big announcement here is that we've got this timer now this is this is it it is basically counting down now until all this has to be finished we have a deadline ladies and gentlemen before like before this comes to zero we've got to be completed and we've, we're going to go to 25 squares as well because i know it's cheating against the the modded rules and stuff however this is going to be the final city that's it now there's we probably won't go back to city skylands unless something horrific happens with the launch of City Skylines 2 but what I've seen online is like it's getting really good praise and everyone is pretty much loving it okay let's bring in some offices because we've got to power this up as well so we need some demand for offices now the things I've seen online I'm not going to play the trailer because everyone and their their wife has seen the trailer by now I mean if you're into City Skylines I mean like if you haven't where have you been for the last couple of months let's bring that across there let's have a skinny skinny road come through what i like about it i like the the fact that you can get bigger buildings coming in so you didn't have so you don't have to worry too much about so you can get really big like a big variety of different buildings and everything coming in no let's not do that let's not disturb the view of this ginormous significant clock and let's also bring in the water now i didn't see what they did with the water i saw what they did with traffic it looked more like real-time traffic and you know there was things like you know you'll be able to draw a road through a road just automatically and there was mini roundabouts very excited for the mini roundabouts because i love a mini roundabout they just took the local mini roundabout out where I where I live, so I was just like, oh, very disappointed in the mornings when that's not there because it's just a little fun bit of Britishness having a mini roundabout. So yeah, let's carry down this path here. We can always build a road in later on. 
And let's do something slightly creative with the road coming in. Now, I don't know if it's just me thinking this, but it seems... The, the, the negative on this is... I mean, I remember the old days, I'm going to sound really old here, where developers would basically go away and they would create a new game by themselves, which has its ups and downs, I'm going to guess, because if you're building a game by yourself, I mean, first off, you can just put what you want in, what you feel is right and what you feel is very appropriate for that game. However, nowadays... I quite like that that's off, because it's just going to annoy certain people. But nowadays, because people have got the... Because with City Skylines especially, especially with Skylines, is the fact that the modding community got a hold of the code and they were able to do really glorious things with it, is that they could produce what they wanted without the need or... Or, or any facility of the, the main developer. Now, it looks to me as if Paradox has just seen what are the most successful mods and gone, hmm, yeah, we like that one, or oh, don't like that one, and, you know, that would be good. Ooh, what's this funky thing? Yes, definitely up here, please. I definitely want this park in the middle of the city to just be like that. There we go. This is going to be, like, the calling... That does look like it's going to beam people up and into the new skylines. I do say it's got like a Stargate kind of vibe going on. But yes, so now they've seen all the all the great mods that even I've used. Like you know, the Move It mod is brilliant. Miss that mod. Uh, the the Chaos mod where you could just you know just bring a path through a road and everything will be cushy or bring a road through another road and that would be all good too and yeah they've kind of seen that and gone we like that we want that in our game and fair play to them for bringing that in but it's also kind of i, I just feel that's kind of lazy on their part like i, I don't mean to diss and I, i've never built a game so i don't know what it's like i can't comment on that front, I have no qualifications there, but I just I just feel like that's kind of like mm. okay. I see I see we've done skylines, and uh, yeah, I see that that's actually that mod. That's actually that mod, and you've just ported these things in, which is which kind of makes you feel like oh, what's, what, what, what's your part? Which obviously they did all the graphics and everything and bringing it in, and they did all the official stuff. So I don't know. On the one hand, I feel it's quite lazy. But on the other, I feel like, on the other hand, I feel it's quite needed for our, like, you know, console friends and things like that who don't have the mods, who are now going to get, be able to play successfully with mods for the first time and basically be able to build a city much more how they, they were inclined to build it before or how much, or how they wanted it done before. Oh no. No, we can't have that. Can't have off symmetry. Hold on. But it did look like there was like real time traffic in there and it did look like you know, there was paying for certain like bus services and stuff over trams. So is that gonna have an effect on the overall hey, oh, there we go. Perfect. That looks great. And we're just gonna bring in a pathway behind here because we can. And yes, do we want to bring in a pathway off here? Just to really even that out? Yeah, go for it. Let's bring one behind. I love the fact that you can just come off assets now and just bring bring those in. Those are great. Some things have really annoyed me. There is like these little parks. I loved them in the last episode. I really did do love these. They are just great little additions to bring in. But why did it take so long to bring in such a thing? Just absolutely genius idea to bring these in. Whoever it was, absolutely salute you, sir. Yeah, there we go. Got one of each going on. 
I mean, that that kind of does boggle my mind a little. And then we're just going to bring in some big parks along the back. And let's get a traditional one down. So like I say, I have already bought the game based off the you know, YouTubers and people that I see play the game. And I am looking forward to it generally, but like I, I have a niggling little you know, like worry in the back because it is a beloved franchise by the people who play it that there might might be a little bit it might be on might not be deserving of it oh god that looks very weird insanely weird let's build off it let's let's try and make this look a little bit more comfortable nope there we go i kind of like that. i made a weird Pendulum star, let's let's actually cut that back actually. Uh yeah, that looks much better. Actually let's delete those as well. Let's try and give this a bit of space to be itself. So while I do think it's kind of lazy on the developer side, I'm sorry to say that, it is kind of much needed. Like those those little tweaks to the game are just brilliant. But well, like why couldn't that be modded into the game and like like, why, why could those mods, those paths are annoying me, sorry. But like, why did it take so long to bring in the modding community into the official game? Because obviously they've done it, because right here with the, with the library here, there's like a community, like a tribute to our City Skylines modding community. And that's because so much of the, the second game, I feel, has been developed by the modding community, which is brilliant. Because they bring in much needed things like, you know, the move it mod, traffic manager, all those really great mods. But like, why did it take Skylight like Paradox so long to bring them in? That's my only criticism. All the others, this really does give us Stargate vibes. I just feel like, you know, the whole gang from Stargate are just going to ping down and say that we've got like aliens to go and defeat at any moment now. So most of the stuff I've seen online is really good, and this is why I've pre-ordered it four months in advance without even playing the game, is because it just looked freaking cool. It just it just looked like yeah you know, a great game that you would you would want to play. And not only because I you know this is like a side hobby type thing, it is it generally looked like a game I would sit down on a Sunday and build a mega utopia. Like some unbelievable mega utopian dream of the future. And yeah, I'd have an absolute blast with it. I feel like one or two buildings here would not go amiss. Just because we've got the ups and downs. This is more the vibe I want to go for for the for the future. It's looking really good for something I'm just making up on the spot, to be honest. And I feel like I've been ranting at you for quite some time now. So I'm just going to finish up by saying, like, I love the fact that there's mini roundabouts in it. Like, absolutely love that. That's a, that's a great classical tribute over here. What I'm not looking for, and I'm a bit nervous because it has been so long. It's almost been 10 years or eight years. But yeah, 10 years since the original came out. And I loved this original game. So obviously I'm going to be a bit apprehensive and nervous with number two because we're all going to just love this game and you know we all really appreciate it. So when someone touches it and makes it new, you're like, oh, do do you want to do that? Do you, can't you just make number one a bit better? You know, just no, okay, cool, 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 and let's do some of these. Big properties that we never use. We just want to bring these in. I'm sure on the live stream we can just come back and do this. So yeah, my main thoughts and stuff is that this. Let's go into summary mode because I don't want to keep going over the same bullet points with this, because we now do have a deadline to get this done and get City Skylines not completed, but we're going to try and fit everything into here. Did we not name this park? We did not name this park. 
There you go. City Skylines 2. We've named the park. I mean, it looked really, really great with the trailers, but the thing that really annoyed me is the fact that, and the thing I've got questions over is, are we going to be able to port our DLC that we bought from this game over? So are we going to be able to, to bring on the manufacturing and the industry into number two? Or do we have to rebuy all of that again? And do we have to rebuy all our transports and everything? Is this what this is for? Is to be able to port over everything that we've bought? What I will be sad about is, even though I'm not into football, I'm always loving the fact that I have these stadiums from that limited edition pack. When because that's how long I've been playing from like I think they're from like 2016 or something. And you can't get them anymore. So would I be able to bring those over? Like, I want to bring these over. And also not looking forward to doing all those challenges again. To like 30,000, um, you know, industrial buildings. Hopefully someone's thought about that and, you know, got the coding right this time. So it's a bit more achievable. Because I see the comments and people being like, this is so, this was the most frustrating challenge type thing. So, Yeah. Oh my god, we'll come back on a live stream and do all that that stuff for this. But this overall let's go to summary mode. Just because I feel like I'm just gonna keep going over the same bullet points and talking your ear off and just being an old man ranting about how back in the day we didn't have any of these guidance tools or anything and we had to do everything manually and it was all it was all a pain, and now Skylines 2 is coming out, and you people who didn't play this game back in the day are never going to notice the difference and the suffering that we all had to go through back in the day. And, yeah. So, basically, this, is, this park is not finished by any stretch of the imagination. We'll come back and finish that on a live stream. So, welcome to summary mode, and I am very much looking forward to City Skylines 2, so much that I've already bought the game. However, I'm a little apprehensive and nervous about, you know, like anyone would be when someone touches your beloved franchise and then makes a new one. I'm a little bit nervous about that. However, for the first time, we're seeing like a really interlinked, like cooperation between the developers and the modders of the game who all want the best for the game and to make everything run smoother, better, and more productive in people's cities. And I'm loving those mini roundabouts. Just going to put that out there. I mean, I saw that and fell in love, and I was like, take my money. Brilliant, finally. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've got to add. And now we've got this countdown timer, so you can go back and literally see when I've edited this video. There you go. That's my almost one take in a nutshell. I will see you guys soon. I'm a little bit hectic at work at the moment. But we now have a challenge on our hands to finish this game in 127 days, basically. That's how long we got to finish all of this up before we will be moving to City Skylines 2. And I want all of this jam-packed, full of stuff, and fully working. And we are going to open up the 25 square because this will be our last city, because City Skylines 2 is coming out on the 24th of October. Pre-order now. Once again, not a sponsored video, but you should pre-order it, because it looks really great. It looks like it's going to be an upgrade of epic proportions, much more detailed. It looks much more mechanical and much more to sink your teeth into. Like, you could really get into this game a bit more heartily now. Not played it, only seen things online, in between and on lunch breaks. So yeah, really looking forward to it. And if Paradox does see this, I would be more than happy to play the game a week early. If not, I'm still gonna buy it. I've already bought it, but still, thank you very much. See you, thank you very much, goodbye. And I'll see you on the next one where we're gonna be talking about banks coming in. I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like, subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. I've oh, still got some seconds.
why not give me some feedback in the comments below it would be greatly appreciated and bonus you can find me on your favorite social media platform links are in the description below until next time have a lovely day